Welcome to Pasquale's Eye on the Arts. With special guest star, Sir Lady Java, transgender entertainer and activist. She opened the door to sexual freedom and gay rights, winning her battle in the California Supreme Court against the Los Angeles Police Department. It's got to stop somewhere, and it won't unless someone steps forward and takes a stand. I guess that's me, Sir Lady Java. Here we are at a very exclusive event here in Pickwick, near the ice arena, it's the Pickwick Gardens, and I'm so proud to be here with Lady Java. All she kept, keeps getting her awards from all over the world, it's amazing. It's, it, it really is something, you know, you had a great career, but it looks like you're going to have a greater one now. Anyway. Thank you. Thank you so much. Hello, everybody. How is everyone? God bless you all. Okay. Lady Java, what was your most famous time in your life, do you think, while you were performing? I know you were a trendsetter in everything you did, and now you have your community that you're backing, and here we are. What, what, what area of your life that you appreciated the most? I appreciate it when a woman came down to see me. Her name was Lena Horn. The Lena Horn, she was so beautiful, and she says, Java, why didn't you tell the people I was coming? Uh, they would have they would have packed the house. I said, Lena, I couldn't do that to you. You came to see me, not the people. And she said, thank you, Java, thank you. And that was the greatest part of my life, seeing Lena at a place called Memory Lane Supper Club on Santa Barbara. <laughs> wow. So what are your plans now for the future? What are you thinking about? I understand you might be interested in doing a television show, and now you're getting some great help from our community. I'm just excited to be here and helping you do new things and develop your dreams. Well, I, I think what I'd like to do is write a book. This has been my first thing. They've been telling me for 20 years to write a book. So now I'm going to write a book. And after I write the book, I hope it goes into a movie. But I want to do something for the G LGBT community because I love my people because when I first started, there were no gay people around. And it was, they were hiding, but they weren't around. And it's nice to see so many. I can't believe it. <laughs> this is an incredible event tonight, and we are happy to be here and support the LGB community through Pasquale's Eye in the Arts. It is art, and these people are so many artists amongst them, famous, not so famous, and just good, wonderful people. Yes, they are. Yes, they are, and I'm pleased to be here with them. That's for sure. Lady Java was given a special award from the LGBT community at the Trans Pride celebration in Los Angeles. I'm determined to have to walk around like everybody else and do my thing. And I will. Yeah. I'm yeah. Very hard. Yeah. I, I love all of you people. All of you. Award Sir Lady Java for her dedication and oh my God, where's my glasses? My dedicate for her dedication and passion and commitment to the empowerment of the trans and gender queer community. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, please one more time. because my, I'm 76 years old, August the 20th. So, but I'm happy to be here. So many of my friends have not made it. You know, they died, I mean, not died, but killed because they were gay. It's a terrible thing. My mother said, oh God, what a life. Why do you want to live like that? She, I said, mother, someone has to do it. But no. <laughs> I fought and fought and fought, kept on. They used to call me, oh, they're, they're the punk goes. I said, yes, there I go. And they were looking, and now they have to bow down to me. Yeah!
And you know, let's find a publisher for Lady Jabba and her life. It was a wonderful story. It's a wild story. No, you're not going to believe some of it, but it's, it's the truth. And I will be writing it. Okay, thank you very much for attending. Bye-bye. Thank you. I'll let go if I don't hold on